Well, here's something straight out of a Halloween special, but it's pure science. Researchers at the University of Georgia have discovered that several species of bats actually grow green under UV ultraviolet light. We're not talking about glow sticks, glow sticks in disguise, but they found it to be real, found it in their wings and in their legs. Let's look into this spooky detail with lead author and, uh, of the study, as well as a UGA alum, Brianna Roberson. How you doing? I'm oh. good. Thank you for having me. Robertson, that's, a, that's, that's your last name. I'm sorry. We, welcome to the show, first of all. And, and let's get with the obvious here. Glowing bats. What made you guys look into if bats glow or not? Well, we actually examined a bunch of different species of mammals, but we were specifically interested in bats, not only because they're fun and charismatic, but also they kind of represent a little bit of an evolutionary outgroup. You know, they fly, which is different from so many other species of mammals, and they have really distinct and interesting social systems. So if we're looking at functions for the glow, they're a really great model. <laughs> what sparks your curiosity with this? Um, I had a previous student um, in our lab who observed the glow in pocket gophers, and there have been a ton of recent papers published. Um, a really big one was flying squirrels. Uh, so super interesting and up-and-coming field. Um, I've always been interested in evolutionary ecology, so I was really excited to find out more. Mm, all right, so when you first turned on that UV light in the lab, what was your reaction? Well, I was a little surprised. Um, I hadn't looked at bats before, but I was really hoping that they would glow. So I was incredibly excited when they did. Uh, what I observed was a little bit different because what we see in the bats is not actually within the fur, it's within the skin, uh, which differs from a lot of the other observations in mammals. So I was also surprised by that as well, but it did motivate me to look into why. Mm. So what, what is it? Why, why uh, is there skin under UV light glowing in green? It's a million dollar question. <laughs> we are still trying to find out more. Um, this study helped us understand that it's probably not due uh, to function in camouflage. We looked at a bunch of different species uh, that roost in different structures. Two of them prefer roosting among leaves. Uh, some of them prefer roosting in caves. And you'd expect that the color that they glow might be different if it was helping them camouflage, but it wasn't. So we don't think it's due to that. We also thought that there was the potential for it to be related to mating or sexual selection. So maybe the males would glow really brightly um, and that would help them attract a mate, but we didn't find a difference there as well. So uh, currently we think that if there is a function um, in modern bats, it might be related to behavior for foraging um, or flying around because what we see is on the ventral or the bottom surface of the bat mm -hmm. and those areas are less visible when they're roosting. But because uh, fluorescence is widespread in mammals, it could just have been a trait left over from early mammals. Yeah, what stood out most to you about the pattern or the intensity of the glow? Um, specifically that it was within the patagium, which is the skin um, and the wings of the bat. That was different from all the other species. Um, also, the green color was really interesting. A lot of other mammals we see are pink or a blue or a red. Mm. Um, green is less commonly observed. Mm. So that was fun to see as well. Yeah. Uh, could this glow be telling us something about the biology of a bat that we're missing out on? Sure, yeah, um, if there is a function, uh, like I said, it might be related to flight and foraging. Another big issue with bats right now is white nose syndrome, which is a fungus that is causing the decline of many bat populations. And that fungus has also been seen to glow under UV light. So there might be some interaction there and having a better understanding of the functions that why bats themselves glow could help us understand a little bit more about white nose syndrome as well. Yeah, now we can't see the glow ourselves. Like if we see a bat flying overhead, we wouldn't be able to see that glow, right? It's not likely. Uh, you know, we did examine the bats under a laboratory UV light. Uh, it's not known whether that level of light or enough light is present just in the surrounding environment to uh, have the same level of excitation. Mm -hmm. That's a question for future research. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What's the biggest misconception about bats that we uh, need to clear up? <laughs> um, I think a lot of people know the saying, blind as a bat. Mm. Uh, another interesting thing about bats is that vision is actually very important to them. Um, we found evidence to support that they can probably see the glow as well. Mm. It's within a, a range of wavelengths that they would be able to see. Um, and also, 
Bats are super important for the environment. A lot of them are pollinators. Um, they play really integral roles in many ecosystems. So I'm happy that people are excited to learn more about bats and understand their ecology better. Yeah, you cleared up a lot, and especially for our producer, Jesse, who's very afraid of bats. You, you put his mind at ease. <laughs> I want you to think about one thing, Brian. Think about the lightning bug or the firefly you know, that green glow with the glow of the bat. I don't know if it has a correlation or not. I'm not as smart as you, but just thought I'd throw some insight on there. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. Really appreciate it.